key points marked. So what I am worried about, these might be targets or hideouts of theirs, but most likely it might be targets of theirs. Yes. So the Elven City, that's around Terrathel. That might be complicated. But Ogira, the uh, halfling town, that'll be a little bit easier to get into and see. That tends to be a little bit smaller, too. Have we had any news yet from there? Um, nothing in particular, but there is a festival that's going to go on in a few days. Is it spring already? I don't know your halfling festivals, but something like bread breakfast bread fast bread feast something oh, like that oh yay oh it's gonna be awesome i just hope every i hope we can visit on good terms you guys Second would love breakfast? it it's Question amazing mark. the food's awesome ah oh, the baker is amazing there wait is one of the places marked that place yes uh, Ogira is the halfling town they are talking about. And is it targeted on the map? It is one of the places that was not stabbed like the temple was, but it is definitely marked. I think we should check that out. When is this festival? Will it be targeted? Well, it does. We end up getting a lot of outsiders and stuff. It'd probably be a good way to be able to blend in, but I don't know why you really choose there. There's nothing fancy. Is there it's anything to village. gain from the festival? Location. Well, Do you have any spectacular items that uh... I can I just respond to it and say well, you don't need to have an item there. A good little spot where you can set up a camp is a good tactic of war. But if you surround your enemy, they can't escape. If you surround you but everybody kind of knows everybody for the most part. Yeah, we get a couple wanderers, but I, I don't they're understand probably, why. They're probably looking to clear the entire area out, like what they were trying to do with the temple. <sighs> that North Temple doesn't seem to be anywhere of like importance to them, so... They uh... were... Can I butt in here for a second? Yes. No! They were looking through a bunch of books, and even my master's room for some reason. Yeah, but I would assume a temple would have secrets and historical. It's I, I, too bad we couldn't get any motive. I don't know what their motive is. That's what I don't understand. We're just a small town. Question. Can I recall in the book that I got, was there anything about trying to summon one of those gods or goddesses? I look at Marlo. Marlo, um, can you take out that book? Maybe we can make sense of something. On the book that you got kills her, uh, there's nothing about summoning them, but they all reference where those uh, gods are. So, you're not entirely sure about that. I take out the book, I walk up to the table, and put my hand on the table, then put the book on the table. Maybe this book can shine some light on or if you guys can examine this book that we found on the ship. Can I try to, like, give Jake a, like, look at him with the kind of, like, showing what I'm trying to relay in my eyes where I don't want to talk about this with the entire party. Uh, do, oh, do, do they hint, care hint, if I nudge, try nudge. reading the book first? Like, if Marlo places the book down and he's kind of looking at Jake kind of, you know, tepidly. Uh, are you going to try and grab the book uh, before he passes it somewhere, or are you just going to... Uh... I'm going to ask if they mind if I try reading through it. Uh, nobody seems to mind, but it's in front of everybody, so Mo, they can take a look if they need to. Actually, Wesker gets up, and he kind of uh, gets near you if you are offering to look at the book. I trust Wesker, so I'm going to let this happen now. Wesker's a Wesker cool. gets near me? What? If Is you are like... going to go to open the book, Wesker is going to be nearby, looking 
basically over your shoulder, but he's a gnome, so he can't look over your shoulder. I'll, I'll say I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, well, uh, the other tiefling, what, what, Maria was her name? Marie. Marie? Okay. Uh, I'm going to sit next to her if that's a, if I'm able to, and maybe he can sit next to me as we look through the book. Okay. Marlo follows along here. Um, immediately upon opening the book, and I didn't describe this book to everybody else uh, who wasn't there, but it actually is a pretty plain book. It seems a little weathered and such, but there is actually a tongue that is nailed to the cover of it. Okay. <laughs> Can I tongue it? If you want to lick it, man, go for it, but I don't know if we got the cure for anything. <laughs> Model of it too, some bad. Some it bad. might be diseased for all you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever curse you manage from that, hey, that's all on you. <laughs> Is this their wisdom saving throw for him looking at like. <laughs> Check it for magic! Well, if uh, we need to translate some dr draconic into English, there you go. <sighs> Uh, you open it up, and immediately you recognize that this is a spell book. Uh, it is written half in Draconic and half in Undercommon. Okay. And it's very high-level spells. Like, there's very a few spells that are way beyond your understanding here. And it is almost a full spellbook here. Um, Lusker kind of looks at a few of them and goes, Okay, that's Fireball. I can tell that because of the way that goes. Um, dimension Door right there. I can't really see much else. These are in really strange writings. Not real... anything, of, uh, anything of this land. I'm going... Uh, two things. One, uh, I'm going to ask you as a DM, do you care if as long as I have this book I can try to do a spell? Maybe, like, it's a chance that I'm able to even cast a spell? That's not how uh, spellcasting works in this edition. At least okay. not your spellcasting. Yeah. If you were a wizard, you might be able to copy some of them, but it would take a lot of study to be able to do so. Yeah. Could he, like, translate the words out and somebody who can do that type of thing try casting it? Uh, it'd be the other way around if he gave it to somebody and they would then try to translate it. It's... Spellcasting is very complicated. Okay. Yeah, so I, it's usually easiest that. to have less people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was, I was just, just wondering, because, like, if it's a spell like Fireball, like, I am able to learn that kind of thing, but I understand if it's, like, a dimensional door, I know uh, Warlocks can't learn that, so. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hand, hand it to Whisker and uh, tell, uh, ask him, do, do you understand how to read your chronic and under common? Um, I'm a little shaky on my undercommon, but Draconic is what I use in my spellbooks, usually. Uh, is Draconic, like, a common thing that people use as, uh, spellcasting? In spellcasting, yes, because most magic actually is derived from dragons. They are uh. the ones that made the spells initially, so a lot of people just follow suit. Oh, okay. Man, apparently I need to learn Draconic. <laughs> There's uh, actually a land uh, that's really far to the east that all of their spells happen to be in uh, giants, actually, because the giants are the ones that brought them their spells. Wait, giants cast spells? And Jake at this point is like, okay, we need to get back on topic here. <laughs> well, if you want to know how to... So this is shine light on anything... Or is this just, a, this just telling us that we're dealing with some very strong mages? Very powerful spellcasters is what we're dealing with. So, if this is a target for these places, we might not even know that these people are there. 
Oh, they might be able to have, you know, illusion magic or transmutation magic. May I pop in what the master said? Um... Can I tell them what happened to the master? Um, you can say whatever you want here. Okay. When we were talking to the master before we left, we asked him how could this have happened. As you guys know, my master, probably... My master is very vigilant, and he was, he didn't know what happened. One second, it was a day ago or two. Next, he doesn't remember the next 48 hours pass. And trust me, this is a guy who can fucking destroy spellcasts. Uh, Charles chimes in, you mean amnesia? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is not uh, usual of Master Wind. He's got a very good memory. At that one time, back in your. Except for when women are talking to him, then he probably just forgets. Or just can't yeah. hear him. <laughs> that, that's most times. <laughs> I believe it's an illness that most men suffer from. The nagging um, wife syndrome? So should we go to these places that are marked on the map? Set up a sort of uh, defense on these points. I just kind of want to, if I'm able to, just check home. Yeah, actually, I think it would be a good idea if... Um, Definitely uh, under wraps, though. Yeah, Jake is talking. He's like, yeah, I would prefer this stay under wraps as well. So I don't want this to be like a very, like, a force going out. I want this to look like an everyday sort of mission. So sending yes. you group out Green 4, I think is actually pretty perfect for that. Um, oh, on top wait, of that, I... on oh, top of it. that, I think, Caius, you should actually stay here for right now. If your presence were down there, that might actually tip them off that we know something. Oh. Charm's right. making noises. Charmed is making noises? Charmed is making noises. Oh no! Are you working? No! She's broken! Wow. Somebody! Did you break Phoenix her? down! Phoenix down! Yes, as sad as it is to leave Caius behind, Aww. but we must keep this under wraps. I promise okay. Caius I'm gonna have... bring you back some delicious treats if I don't eat them on the way back. Or, you know, your entire city isn't burned down to the ground. Hey! Oh, well, I we're gonna have we some good luck operation? here. I want to suggest maybe if he does care to come with us, we can, um... I'd rather not have Caius come with us. Uh, we can give him a disguise potion or invisibility potion. We can make it look like we're escorting this, va this vagabond all the way down to this well, halfling village, if we disguise him like that. It is a festival, That is a good idea. It is However, a festival, However, if these though. are powerful spellcasters, they will be able to see through that. Yeah, they are, they, they would probably see right through that. <laughs> we don't... I, I, I can't imagine, though. I don't think we've ever seen Dragonborn show up for festival. If they make a powerful monk forget a whole day of what happened... They can probably see right through um, illusion magic. Mm -hmm. mm, I guess that makes sense. Can the I other thing I want to... What was that? I want to look at the map to see the next closest marked town to Aita's village. Um, it's kind of roundabout, but that uh, inn that you guys met up on at the first day, the <laughs> uh, Dick and Pickle is actually on the way there, so... Huh. I look at it and say, okay, so this is Mark and that's Mark. I think we should try to at least assess, uh, uh, assess the areas where it's marked and see what's going on there before we try to get to Ita's village, just in case we can come across anything strange. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to go off to Agira. Let's see. Uh, Rameth, and the dwarf pipes up. He's like, uh, is uh, Red 3 in in town right now. Sigh. Like, okay, I want you guys to go on up 